Hello, Dallas South. This is Sean Williams. I am here at the Texas Delegation Breakfast with Aaron Paz from El, El Paso. And Aaron has started a petition that I'd like to tell you, uh, let him tell you a little bit more about. Uh, Aaron has uh, got, gathered some signatures for a petition to get Ms. Hillary Clinton, Senator Clinton, on the ballot as the vice presidential nominee. So, Aaron, why don't you tell me a little bit about your petition and why you think this is important? Okay, well, what we want to do is make sure to follow the rules, and what the rules state is that the delegates are in charge and have the respond the great responsibility of choosing the vice president. I know cust uh, uh, traditionally it's been the presidential candidate chooses who he or she wants, um, uh, but those are that, that, those are not the rules. The rules are that the delegates decide. So all I'm doing is I'm I'm, I'm allowing the de democratic process to work out, and I'm allow and the way it works is that. We need to collect 300, between 300 and 600 signatures of all of delegates uh, to even move forward. We're going to collect those signatures. It looks like I'm going to have an easy time getting them. Uh, we haven't really even gotten to the floor, and I'm, I'm almost, I've gotten about 100 already from last night and today. Uh, and uh, once we get our 300, and we hand it over to the campaign. Uh, and then so to the Clinton campaign? To that Clinton okay. campaign. And they know about it, and the Clinton campaign is, is, not, is not supporting this officially. But we understand that she, you know, she's gonna say that, you know, the, she's she's gonna say that the so-called right, you know, she's gonna do the so-called right thing to do, which is to support Senator Obama and the whole party line. But we feel that that's just the, the political speak and that she has to do it. So, but, but we still want to at least show her that we're behind her and that we're gonna at least give her the opportunity to, to decide yes or no. Once so we get ask you this real quick. Yeah. So you're going to uh, turn the, the signatures over to the campaign, but right. no one necessarily with the convention, none of the committee conventions, that's not where this is headed necessarily? It, all, it would only get there if the, if the campaign accepts our request. We have to, requ we have to request uh, that the candidate accept the 300 petitions, the minimum 300. Once the 300, uh, assuming, you know, with some luck of some sort, or some, or some hope, uh, which is kind of our keyword now as we're hoping, uh, uh, with some hope that maybe she might actually consider it, uh, looking at the polls and looking at how the, the the Biden selection did not really help the ticket or looking at the polls today that in fact it angered more people than it, than it, than it helped uh, Hillary people feel very disrespected well yeah explain to me why that is why, why is it that that selection uh, seemed to have caused some ruffle some feathers within the Clinton supporters well because she got half the vote I mean it was a 50, 50 51 49 percent vote and that's the entire half of the party and uh, and you know I we all still generally believe that she was a better candidate. We lost that battle, you know, because of the caucus system. We have, so we felt that that was also another unfair thing that occurred. The caucus the caucus system is undemocratic and it doesn't really represent the true will of the people. Which we felt the true will of the people were, was for Hillary. Every, every, the primary voters usually the one one person one vote. She won when it came down to activists hanging out for three hours. He won those states, so that disadvantaged uh, her in general across the. And the but those were party rules, and we have to accept that the party rules were uh, were biased and, and wrong. Uh, dis and, uh, disenfranchised seniors, a working working class who ca can't hang out for three or four hours during a sh an, an evening shift. Seniors who don't want to go out. So you're talking about the Texas, the caucuses, okay. not just Texas across okay. the country. Generally, the caucus, uh, the caucuses, and that's how Obama was able. To, to, to write through because he would be able to sweep those because most of his supporters uh, were a, a certain demographic which were the intellectual, uh, the youth, the wealthier. Uh, 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 th those demographics are all within the exit polls and Hillary's supporters were the working class, um, uh, seniors, Hispanics, people who uh, don't understand the process. All, all, the, only, the only thing they understand is to show up in a booth and vote. Let me ask you they don't, they don't understand a caucus system. So we felt like we were wrong in that part. Let me ask you one more question before we close real quick. Uh, so moving forward, even looking forward to Thursday, just between now and Thursday, what are people who gather signatures, sign your signature, uh, Hillary Clinton supporters, what are you hoping to happen by Thursday? Uh, to this party, what are you looking for from a standpoint of unity, or what, what, what are y'all looking for? Well, we just want to make sure that, to, that like, like I said, we want to make sure the de democratic process works out within the rules. We're going to send it over campaign. She says no. Well, she said no. And we did our part to make sure that, that, that the people that elected us, I represent 35,000 Democrats in El Paso, who, who selected me to be here, and they, and they uh, hands down, want me to do, to do whatever it takes to show Hillary our support. 
she's going to say no. Um, and our goal now is to convince, the whole reason we're doing this is because we think that she was the, she lost at the top, but we still think that she was definitely the strongest on the second ticket, hands down. There's no way that Joe Biden is more qualified than Hillary for being his vice president. And our goal is now, I'm going to end up voting for Obama because I'm a Democrat in November, uh, but a lot of people are not especially in my community, especially those people that I talk about, talking about seniors, women, Hispanics, uh, 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 working class, those folks, the polls are showing it. If you can see, half of Hillary voters are either undecided or are switching over to McCain. And those are the people that we're, we're doing this for, is because if Hillary, would, if Obama would have been smart, and really wanted to unite the party, this isn't what we're doing it. Obama wanted to really unite the party. He would have selected Hillary, the other half of the party, and would have been all here together, united, going forward to an easy victory. The fact that he chose to disrespect her and, and her, all of her 18 million voters uh, uh, means that, uh, that he's going to have a hard time winning the election. Uh, the generic Democrat beats a generic Republican by 10 to 15 points across the nation in every poll. That means all Hillary and all Obama people together. The fact that he threw her uh, under the bus means that he's going to have to win with his wing of the party, which is why he's tied with McCain. Okay, so, I'll just cut it there because we have, uh, have to move forward. But I do appreciate, again, Aaron Paz from uh, El Paso, who is working with the petition to get Ms. Hillary Clinton on the vice presidential ticket. And we're, we're in the Houston Chronicle today, in case you want to read it. Okay.